What up, man? Also, your boy Shocker to History from Metalsource.com, and here we go with another video of the perfect offense. Now, I'm running my super custom offense on Xbox One. I'm ranked like around 5,000, I believe. I haven't played in a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and rank this up. And I'm playing with the Dallas Cowboys, guys. And I'm gonna show you guys some little concepts that I've used against top players. It's uh, I don't like to run the ball. I mean, I don't like to pass the ball. I love to run the ball a lot, guys. So I had to find a way to get me more yards. You're gonna see me motion a lot of wide receivers. You're gonna see me flip the play. You're gonna see me making reads. Also, a great weapon ab about runners like myself is the clock, guys. I like to clock people. And the reason I beat top 100 players and every single time with this type of offense is because they're more of a faster a pace game and I like to slow down the game and control the clock especially with a run game and all of a sudden hit them with a pass and then keep running the ball keep running the ball by making reads and getting extra blockers to help me block on the line to get more yardage guys at least consistent six to four to five yards every single time I run the ball this guy's running three three five defense that is not going to work against my offense as you guys can see here real easy call right here because he has everybody pretty much stacked in the inside he's trying to pinch the defensive line and pinch the linebackers so we're just going to go ahead and run a counter to the outside real simple i like to come out in the ace twins i think this is one of the best running formations in the game it has a counter and it has a strong power it also has some nice passes in case you need it or you know as you guys can see here i'm flipping the play this time getting this bright that means the outside is going to be a lot more open than that slot receiver uh you know i mean that's that corner who's covering the slot so i motion him back to over here and then all of a sudden i run the counter that way and yup there we go we get the nice yardage and we keep moving the ball guys now uh the cowboys lost this sunday guys i'm really disappointed i was rooting for the cowboys but hey that this brian call man this brian messed up i think this brian should have not dove for the extra yardage yardage to make that touchdown he trying to you know he did too much in that play he should have just fell to the floor he didn't get it a really disappointing loss man they could have beat the 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 green bay packers they had him but hey it is what it is that's what happened you know but since you know i'm a cowboy fan in the heart in my heart i'm a cowboy fan i know i've been talking shit a lot of uh, about the cowboys during the season but uh just to let you guys know i i am a little bit disappointed man i'm a little bit disappointed but i'm gonna go ahead and root for the seahawks man i think the seahawks has a bigger chance aaron Rodgers is limited to just staying at the pocket even though he's really dangerous in the pocket but if he was 100 percent I mean, just him running and taking, uh, you know, when, when there's nobody open, he'll just take off and just create creates another weapon. But he does not have his legs. So that's why, therefore, I think the Seahawks are going to win the NFC Championship and they're going to move on. I don't see the Colts or the Patriots uh, beating the Seahawks at all. So, hey, let's see what happens, guys. And, you know, we, we'll, we'll see. But I, I'm calling it the Seahawks are going to be the team to beat. You guys let me know here in the comment section who's going to think. It's going to go to the Super Bowl. Y'all think the uh, the Packers are going to pull an upset? You know, the Legion of Boom, man, the 12th man is just, uh, you know, like I'm telling you guys, man, they're they're really good. They're looking. They're going to They're gonna repeat. They're going to two-peat. They're going to repeat, man. And they might repeat. And my brother, Dark Raven, says they're going to four-peat. So, cause, because they're young. They're a young team. They still got a lot more years to go. So, here we go with this concept, guys. Uh... So one of the things that make me successful with this running offense, guys, and I've been using it since the beginning of the year, is that I like to milk the clock, guys. I like to milk the clock. I like to frustrate my opponent. Online players, guys, they love to, to be fast-paced. They love to score in one or two plays. You know, just keep moving the ball through the air. They love to score quick. A really big counter to that, guys, is the clock, man. Because the reason is if I score right here and they score quick, all right, and I could come back on offense again and take my time to score, run out the clock, and I'm up two touchdowns, and then I receive again, and then I do it again. So, it, you know, it's just controlling the clock, controlling the clock, running six to four yards, making sure you make the right reads. What I'm attacking here is basically the weak side of the defense, as you guys can see here, coming out in four, three, nine wide, and real easy. So right here, we can attract real, uh, attack real quick with an inside zone. Uh, oh, he's coming out in 335 again. I think he's 335. Uh, the reason I'm attacking with the inside zone is because he has his linebackers way backed up. So that's a really easy read. All I have to do is run up the gut, and that's pretty much it. So let's see what he has here. This, uh, this is the 439 wide. So we could run in between the tackle and the guard either on the left side because I line back on the outside. I don't like him there. So as you guys can see here, the slot, there's nobody on him. So we're going to use him as an extra blocker. 
So we got, I like to motion him all the way to the right and to the back, but this time I ran out of time. So uh, I'm gonna take the, oh, actually the time ran out. So, uh, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and go into the second quarter and I wasted just one quarter right here, guys. Just running the ball, making reads, taking my time to score. Uh, I, I'm getting consistent yardage. My opponent does not seem to adjust to it. He's coming out again in 4-3-9 wide. So I'm going to go ahead and, and try to run between the, the guard and the tackle. This time I, I see the defensive end on the right. Look at how I'm moving the slot. The slot moves uh, the corner. Covering the slot moves out of the way. So there we go. We got more yardage. There's less people on the left. And uh, we run and we get consistent uh, you know four to five yards so we're gonna go ahead it's three and four so we're gonna go ahead and do it again we got 16 seconds left right here and uh, in this situation I'm getting consistent yards so I'm gonna go ahead and keep running the ball uh, as you guys can see here he has everybody pinched I think he's running a 4-3 stack he starts spraying I don't like what he did there because I was actually gonna ride to the right but he, because he adjusted you know I actually took the flag there so that's okay why did I take the flag? He has not seen me pass yet, so that means that I'm gonna go ahead and attack through the air next because he has, doesn't know exactly what I, I'm gonna do in the air. He does not know uh, at all. He hasn't seen me pass this whole game. It's almost uh, seven minutes of possession, guys. So, yes, my biggest weapon, guys, against top level players is the clock, man. I'm telling you, if I run the, I run the ball, run the ball. And then all of a sudden, I, I just clock him or hit a field goal. I don't care. As long as I get a score in, but I, I know it, if I'm controlling the clock, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of that. As you guys can see there, that was a really nice read. I've been practicing my offense. I'm passing. Even though I suck at passing, I'd rather not pass. Uh, I did make a good read on that one against, I think he was running cover three. So uh, there we go. Look at how he's pinching everybody. Really easy run right there and we just follow the tackle for a really nice uh, touchdown and we get the touchdown and, we, and that's how I run my offense guys I've been uh, the top I uh, who was it NZL uh, New Zealand uh, he was actually top five or top ten I mean I have beat other players uh, in the top 100 on PS4 I beat top 100 players on Xbox one I think he was ranked top 50 uh, he's one of my friends on Facebook so hey you guys want to go ahead and communicate with me i also got a new defense i'm going to show you guys on my next video so make sure you guys stay tuned for that and make sure you guys follow me on man also secret society on facebook guys till there's your boy chocolate 64 man also thank you guys for watching and let's go see in the seahawks win that don't forget to subscribe down here below for more tips more strategies more schemes more gameplays more tournaments and more giveaway prices later it's your boy shock 360 hit that like button don't forget comment and subscribe